two coaches of the year in 2005 and then in 2017. George Carl, coach of the year in 2013, helped the Sonics get to the 90, NBA Finals in 1996. Mike Woodson helped improve the Atlanta Hawks and helped you get to a 54-win season. Billy Donovan won two national titles with Florida. All of these coaches have proven track records. It's just Melo never adjusted his game to make things work with the coaches, and whatever they asked of him, he did not want to do it. And that's why even if Melo makes the Hall of Fame, he's never going to be regarded in the same class as, like, as his uh, draft mate LeBron James. Because if you remember, Carmelo and LeBron were actually linked together. Carmelo, they looked at him as neck and neck with LeBron and that they would forever be linked. Now, LeBron's all the way up here, and Melo doesn't even really get mentioned. This dude, this dude is out of the game now. They have the same amount of years, and Melo is out of the game right now. LeBron is still playing. This dude has won MVPs. This dude has won three championships, three finals MVPs. And LeBron is still going strong in his 16th season, trying to win another one. While Carmelo is not even in the game of basketball. He was relegated to a, to a reduced role. But part of that is, but the biggest reason is on you. Your ego, your pride was your own demise, Carmelo. And as much as I defended you and how great of a player you was, I can no longer defend you. And it's like the video evidence proves it. A lot of these articles prove it. And I know, I know that um, George Carl had mentioned about Carmelo's manhood. To me, he went too far with that. He should have just stuck it to basketball. He, see, he would have been completely right had he just stuck with his basketball principles and critiquing Melo as a basketball player. And that's one thing that I will never uh, respect is when people go out of bounds and start um, respecting, disrespecting people's manhood as an athlete. Um, their adulthood, like you criticize them off the court, like in terms of their upbringings, that's not okay. Just keep it professional and talk about his basketball game. George Call was 100% right in everything he said. Biz Dillick, 100% right in everything he said. But the one thing that George Call should have never done was go personal. That's one thing you know. You keep it professional, not personal. But anyway, man, uh, I just wanted to shed some light on that situation and... See, I really, I really wish Carmelo could just come into the league again and you know have a role on the team where he can, uh, he could come in and help. I just don't think it's going to happen because Carmelo, he, he overstayed his welcome in the NBA. And you're talking about a multiple-time All Star that again got bounced around and just refuses to accept his role. And this is why he's not going to be looked the same. And it's funny because if Carmelo really committed himself to winning and he, let's say he would have won and he would have um, expanded his role on the defense, defensive end and try to improve himself as an overall basketball player, he probably would have been in much higher regard. But it's like right now he's an afterthought. And this is a great player who won, who was a national player of the year. And he's still going to be in the Hall of Fame because of his college accomplishments and all the points he scored. But... He's never going to be in high regard with all those other great players. Wade, Bosch, and LeBron have won championships. Three players in his class are all champions for him. And part of it, is, and the biggest reason, is because of him. But anyway, this is your boy Lewis checking in, checking out. Thanks for viewing the video, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you get that notification and share it. And this is Lewis Velez checking in. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Signing out. Peace.